Vedic's meanings, Toastmaster of Herbal speak many times to past. He always gives a lot of effort to preparing the speeches and they're always worth listening to. So listen up with a speech entitled Enjoy, Grow and Celebrate when exchanging so engaging humor path. Please welcome to work. Enjoy, grow, celebrate. That is our theme for District 71 for the year as chosen by our district director, Danny Banks. Enjoy, grow, celebrate. Toastmasters and most welcome guests, I would like to share with you how I envision, as Area Director of Area 60 this year, how I envision that we bring that theme to life. Enjoy, grow, celebrate. If you were to ask me, Ronnie, why after 10 years are you still a part of Toastmasters? I could tell you about the world-class training opportunity and education it provides. I could tell you about the network of 15,000 clubs around the world that you're a part of. I could tell you about the opportunity to be in the world's best and biggest public speaking contest. Maybe most importantly, I could tell you about the wonderful people that you'll meet along the way. And in listening to their stories, you pick up wisdom and beautiful ideas and thoughts and develop great friendships and relationships. Yes, I can tell you all that, but the truth is I continue to come to Toastmasters because I enjoy it, very simply. Let me ask you as members, how many people enjoy coming to these meetings? These are very enjoyable meetings. And the man that founded Toastmasters, Ralph Smedley, he said that we learn best in environments where we are enjoying ourselves, where we are having fun. And apparently there's not a lot of research now to suggest that is truly the case. But here's the thing. A lot of us are Glaswegians, or honorary Glaswegians. We don't really need a lot of help with enjoying ourselves, do we? No. In fact, even Scotland in general, around the world, even recently at the recent European Championships, we showcased how we can enjoy ourselves peacefully, productively, with all people around the world. I don't think we need to be encouraged or helped to enjoy our meetings. I believe that we are putting on many enjoyable meetings along the way. And I think we should just continue in that spirit. And in doing that, we will continue to create a great opportunity. And that opportunity, is to grow. And in Toastmasters, there's really two things we want to think about with that word grow. It's our personal growth, but it's at the same time how we can contribute to the growth of these clubs. And when it comes to personal growth, I'd like to ask once again our members, how many of you feel like you have developed or grown as a part of being part of these meetings at Toastmasters. For those of you that are looking for that, I'd like to say sorry, but you're not going to be able to not grow by coming to these meetings. Toastmasters has a system that has worked for millions of people around the world. You just have to attend and you will naturally develop, grow and build skills that will make you a better speaker, a better communicator, and yes, even a better leader. I would say simply, my message to you is to attend the meetings. And I want to help with that with a calendar that I'll distribute some of you during this meeting so you can see that we have 100 meetings to attend this year as part of all the Glasgow clubs. But people come to me sometimes and they say, Ronnie, I want to get better at speaking right now. What can I read? What can I watch? What can I do? And I say, just attend the meetings. You say, no, that's a week away or two weeks away. I just want to do this and read and something and get coaching or something. Just attend.
attend the meetings. And there's a lot of people that don't have the, sometimes the patience to do that. But this is the system that we have. It's through attending the meetings, engaging with the meeting, and the reflection that we have over those meetings that allows us to gradually over time inevitably grow and develop the skills we are looking for. Something that we can maybe improve at, celebrate. And in Toastmasters, we need to celebrate more. Celebrate ourselves, celebrate others. A lot of you are on a journey of personal development, personal growth. <clears throat> and I can imagine that some of you feel alone in that endeavor. Some of you might feel like your friends, family, colleagues around you don't understand <coughs> Don't understand why you do different things to others, why you're willing to spend a Tuesday night coming here to learn something. And you're not even being paid to be here. That doesn't make any sense to a lot of people. But you understand that. And you should be celebrated for that. And that, because we can't provide you with fame and status and money and whatever, but we can give you that recognition that some people want. That little bit of recognition, that admiration that encourages people forward. And when anyone walks in that door, we should celebrate that they've taken that big step forward. And I celebrate everyone who's come here for the first time. I know how difficult that step is. That remains in my mind. And I know how many people don't take that step. We should celebrate that. And when you make your first speech, we should celebrate together. And when you go forward to complete a section of a pathway, to be part of a contest, to be part of a club committee. Every stage along the way, we must celebrate together and create a wonderful <coughs> environment. Something I didn't mention was growing our clubs. How can we play a part in that? And I suggest that if we do enjoy, celebrate and grow, we should share that with others. And maybe we should create a culture where we all play a part in taking the ownership of these clubs and we start to invite others that we know in our lives to come along and enjoy this experience with us. <coughs> to recapitulate, if we celebrate each other, we create a wonderful environment in which people will be inspired to continue on their journey to better development and growth. And we will get something from that. We will grow inevitably simply by being a part of these clubs and encouraging others to come. And if we do that, we will create wonderful, thriving clubs that we will enjoy, perhaps for the rest of our lives. Enjoy, grow, celebrate. That's how I believe we can bring that theme to life together. Mr. Toastmaster. Thank you, Ronnie. Thank you. So one of my jobs as Toastmaster is to tell you all about 